Hi, welcome to my tutorial. I posted it in text format earlier and many people expressed their interest in seeing it in video format. So here we go. This is about making tails, wings and other accessories made of hair. As you probably know, hair in v can only be attached to the head. While it is possible to add hair strands everywhere, they will always move according to the head. However, there is a way to modify the model externally using Unity and attach them to a different bone. With this technique, you can create tails, wings, ribbon, etc. Anything made with hair and offers a lot of possibilities. So, first you want to create the tail itself in v -Raid. Create a new freehand group, then move the mesh point by point to where you want it to be. After this, create hair the normal way. You're probably already familiar with that if you used v -Raid before. Create a bone group for the tail. This is important and will be required for the process to work. When exporting, make sure you uncheck Enable Hair Combination inside the Material Reduction settings of the exporter. Now the next step is done in Unity. Any version is fine, but the more recent the better. Get the latest UniVRM package and import it in your project. Next, you need to import the Bonewind Transfer plugin, which can be found on Shigepon's booth page. Then, create a folder inside Assets and place your VRM inside of it. This will create a number of files within the folder. One of these files is a prefab. Take the prefab and drag and drop it into the scene hierarchy. Right click on the model and select Unpack Prefab. Now unfold the content of the model and the root object and keep going until you reach the head bone. You should see a list of hair joints. Those represent the different hair bones. Find the one corresponding to the tail. You can see it with the placement of the gizmo. Take this hair joint and drag it to the new parent bone. In this case, the hips. Inside the hair object, you can find a list of every hair strand mesh. When selecting a mesh, you can see it highlighted. Identify all the meshes that correspond to the tail. In the menu, click on Tools and Bone White Transfer. This will open a new window. In the first slot, place one of the hair mesh from the tail. In the second slot, place the head bone. In the first slot, place the new parent bone. In this case, the hips. Then press the button. Repeat the process for every hair mesh of the tail. Now, moving the head will no longer move the tail anymore. Once this is finished, select the avatar in the hierarchy, go to VRM, UniVRM and Export Humanoid. You can then save the modified VRM. And now you have a working tail. Thank you for watching and have fun adding tails to everything. Also check out my other tutorials and my channel. See you later.